Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing another empties video. So this is all of my trash, basically. So all of the products that I've used up recently. I have a huge box of things, so let's just get right into it. First, at the top here, I have the Honest Beauty Makeup Remover Facial Wipes. I absolutely love these. They're my favorite wipes. I have uh repurchase these i don't go through these as much because i like to use cleanser or a makeup remover towel but when i want to wipe when i need to use you know a makeup remover wipe i usually go for this i have a urban decay all nighter setting spray i did pick up another one of these once it was on sale but this is honestly my favorite setting spray if you need something that will help your makeup last all day and really work well this is my go-to i have a everyday shea bubble bath i did repurchase this as well it's my favorite bubble bath i would say it's lavender and it's just like a big jug of it so i enjoy having having to not repurchase all the time yeah it just smells so good i really love lavender scented products for the bath especially because it is a stress reducing scent i guess <laughs> um from what i've heard so really like this my brother's fiance makes amazing products and so i went through some of the things i bought from her i went through her wild berry body scrub this smelled so good i absolutely loved it still smells so good I'll have to purchase more products from her. I also have a jar of blueberry muffin hand scrub that she gave me. Oh my gosh, it smells heavenly. I don't know why I'm showing you, but <laughs> it smells heavenly and it was so nice for my hand. I really enjoyed this product that she made as well. I have a few candles. I have the wild hibiscus sangria target candle this was a gift from my mom oh it smells really good and i love the pink color i have a goose creek strawberry shortcake candle this one is the orange blossom this was really nice if you like orange smells i would definitely recommend this one of all the strawberry shortcake candles i don't think this is my favorite so i wouldn't repurchase but i have a bunch of the other candles from that line Another Goose Creek candle I have here is Book by the Lake. And this one was nice as well. Again, I wouldn't repurchase. I think I would repurchase from Goose Creek if I run out, but I wouldn't necessarily get the same one of this one. But it's kind of like a clean, relaxing smell. And I loved the name, Book by the Lake. It just seemed so peaceful. And this one was nice. I did enjoy burning it. Sticking with candles, I have one more and it was from Brie, my brother's fiance. She made this one and it was so cool. It still has some product in there, but it kind of burned down this way. But it was Vampire's Blood for Halloween. I think that was what it was called, Vampire Blood. Oh, it smells so good. I really enjoyed this one. I have two products from the Naked Bee. This one is their moisturizing hand and body lotion. I enjoyed this. It's the same scent as this other product I have here of the Ultra Rich Body Butter. I enjoyed this one as well, but the hand lotion, so both of them were Orange Blossom Honey as the scent. And for me, I mean, the scent isn't bad, but I feel like I don't necessarily need that particular scent again like i would like to try another one of their scents but it was nice so i could see myself repurchasing a different scent from them just to try but i really liked the lotion and the body butter was super nice very moisturizing kind of thick i just actually went through this today this is the elf halo glow setting powder i definitely want to repurchase this this was a really nice powder it gives a little bit of a glow to the skin it sets the makeup it's in the shade light and i just feel like i went through this kind of fast and i don't know i'll have to compare the size of it to other powders i have i have other powders currently so 
I feel like I might not repurchase this right away, but I do enjoy this product. If you want a little bit of an illuminating primer, I'm sorry, an illuminating powder uh, that is super nice and affordable too, then this is a great option. I have the Mary Kay Hydro Gel Eye Patches. I bought this from a friend and these were actually really nice and cooling. They came with like a little spoolie in here and you would just get the eye patches that way and I really enjoyed applying them when I was in the bath I would put them under my eyes to just have a little self-care moment so I did really like these I don't think I'd repurchase them um, but they were nice I did enjoy them I always kind of feel bad with these types of products just because you do throw them out after one use so I think that's kind of why I'm gonna try to avoid this in the future this product is sad. I just think it's super old. It is my NYX Butter Gloss in Cre Creme Brulee. Ugh, I have memories with this product. It's just so old. It still smells good, but I know I've had it forever, so I'm decluttering this one. I have a Verb Leave-In Mist. This is kind of like a leave-in conditioner for your hair. I enjoyed this while I went through it, but I have a new leave-in moisturizer or leave-in conditioner for my hair that I am using and I don't know I kind of didn't like how it was liquidy but then it would kind of clump up and so it was hard to spray out like I felt like I had to open the cap so I don't know I just didn't love this I think I have ones I enjoy more we have some skincare I have from Thrive Cosmetics their moisture flash toner this is really nice I don't love the packaging where you press it down but they did actually revamp their packaging and now it is a spray so I'm actually excited about that but this is a nice toner I really did enjoy it same goes with their moisturizer this is the timeless ambition firming moisturizer and it has a little pump up cap they I think they discontinued this one but it is a go-to of mine I really did enjoy it but I have other moisturizers now but this one was nice this I'm just decluttering. It is the QMS Lip Line Corrector. And I don't know, I got this as a boxy charm, and I don't even really understand what this lip serum is supposed to do. I've had it for a while, I've used it a few times, didn't really care for it, didn't notice a difference or of anything in this. And I've just had it for a long time, so getting rid of that. Looks like I have another NYX gloss. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in funnel delight and this is also old i never used it but look at how pretty this color is i feel like i never reached for it it still smells like funnel cake i feel like <laughs> but i just know that it's old so i'm gonna declutter i feel like i should really buy one of these nyx butter glosses again just to relive old times because i swear I loved it back in the day. I went through this random luxurious bath soak in peppermint and I think I got this from Aerie and it was nice but I definitely wouldn't repurchase. I don't know. I feel like it didn't have doesn't have the best ingredients but I got it around the holiday time last year and finally got rid of it here. I have an old gross beauty blender that just has to go. I have a serum from the Inky List. This was pretty nice. It's kind of a small size, but I feel like I would order this again. The Inky List is pretty affordable and I do like their skincare. I have an EOS lip balm and also an EOS little shea butter hand cream. This one was in Birthday Cake, this lip balm, and it smelled so good. It was in one of my favorites videos this year. Yeah, it smells so good. I really like this one. I do have another one of these already or that I just had. I usually don't purchase them, but my mom will get me these. And then the Shea Butter Hand Cream in Pomegranate Raspberry was pretty nice. But again, I wouldn't repurchase these items. They're just kind of things I end up with. This was also a gift for my mom. It's this hot chocolate flavored lip balm that says that's hot. It's so cute, but it actually broke on me. It broke right in here, so every time I went to apply it, I would like feel the plastic um, hurting my lip. So this just has to go. As cute as it is, 
I didn't like the packaging. <laughs> we have more Thrive Cosmetics products. I have their Time with Ambition Sculpting Serum. This was really nice. I don't know if they have this product anymore, but it was a good serum. I would repurchase their serum. I have the Defiant Gravity Nourishing Hand and Nail Cream. I absolutely love this and I do have a backup of this already or that I've, you know, had. I prefer this one over this hand cream. It's just really nourishing and I like the smell of it. I have two eye glitters that just dried out. This is the e.l.f. glitter in Disco Queen. I loved this. It is a really cool silver color with a bunch of different sparkles in it, but it totally dried out, so it's sad, but I feel like I did use this one a lot. This one I didn't use too much. It's in the shade Pink from Studio Makeup. This was a Boxy Charm product and I did use it a few times but it is dried up now. I went through these Peace Out Acne little acne stickers. I really gotta get more of these. I enjoyed these when I have a pimple that is just annoying. It helps your blemishes go away in six hours. It says it's not anything like a miracle worker, but it does help, I feel like. So I want to purchase these again. I haven't yet, but I hopefully will. I have a Thrive Cosmetics powder. This is their Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Pressed Setting Powder and it is completely gone. I already have a backup of this and it is my favorite pressed powder so I definitely will repurchase even when I'm out of the one I'm using now. And I'm actually wearing a little bit of this today because I ran out of this one as I was applying it but this is just really nice. It kind of mattifies the skin. It gives you a little bit of coverage but not a ton so it's kind of a nice you know it doesn't feel cakey on the skin or anything like some powders can i have a few lip balms i have the soothing touch lavender coconut lip balm this one was really really nice i think i would repurchase this i have other lip balms now it smelled really good and it has more organic and natural ingredients so really liked this I have the Naked Bee Orange Blossom Honey Lip Balm. This was the same set as those other Naked Bee products that I mentioned earlier, so I feel like I was kind of sick of this scent, so I wouldn't repurchase this one. And then the Kind Lips Georgia Peach Lip Balm. I really like this one. This is my second one that I went through. I feel like maybe I'd repurchase this one. It smelled really good and was nice on the lips. This one is just sad. This is my Kaja Beauty Bento in Chocolate Dahlia. I noticed it's just getting kind of old. I've had this for so many years and it has two matte shades and one shimmer, but I really loved this. So I kind of want to buy more from the brand, but I have so much eyeshadow, so I don't know if I will, but this was definitely a favorite for a long time. Oh, it looks like I have another one of those Peace Out Acne Healing Dots that I used up. I have my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been loving the liquid version of this. And this I've just had for so many years. Even though I didn't finish it completely, I decided I wanted to just throw it out because it is too old. I've been using it for so long. But this is a nice product. I would prefer the liquid one that I've been using recently. A few more lip products. I have the Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Serum. It's like peeling off here and I don't even know what happened to the packaging. It is all messed up but it was actually a really nice smelling product but I didn't feel like it gave too much moisture to my lips. It smells kind of like peaches but yeah I don't know. I didn't really love this and the packaging wasn't the best so I wouldn't repurchase this one. We have the Thrive Cosmetics Mayong Sheer Strength Hydrating Lip Tint and I can't believe I went through this whole lip tint. It was their clear shimmer version of it so it was just a light shimmer tinted lip balm and I really enjoy this formula. I would say of the shades I would go with one of the shades that actually has color to it as opposed to just the shimmer one but it smells so good. I love this formula. Such a favorite. And another favorite is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I have been 
raving about these for the last couple years. This is the shade Peachy Beige. I used it up completely. I can't believe it. This was actually my favorite shade. I have three shades of this. I went through this one. So of the three, I feel like the Peachy Beige shade was my favorite. So maybe I'll repurchase this, but I do have two more of these that I've been using. A few more products. We have two more from Thrive Cosmetics. This is their liquid eyeliner. They recently came out with a new version of this. So this, I don't know, I just realized it was getting kind of old, but I did really enjoy it while it lasted. And yeah, I have their newer liquid eyeliner. So I think I like that better than this older version, but it was a really good product. And then I have a Liquid Lash Extension Mascara in the Rich Black shade. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It is a tubing formula, so it lengthens the lashes. It comes off super easy. I am wearing this today, a different tube, so I already have a backup of this one. I have the Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser from Glam Glow. This was a BoxyCharm product I had. It was kind of like a clay cleanser but I don't know it took me a while to go through this and I liked it but I would not repurchase it was kind of a weird consistency it didn't foam up even though it's saying it's a cream to foam definitely more of a cream product never really foamed but it was kind of like a charcoal cleanser so I enjoyed it but I wouldn't really go for it again Lastly, we have two foundation products. This is the Yenza BC foundation um, full coverage SPF 40 in the shade light neutral and I actually loved this product. I don't know where you can find Yenza but if I ever tend to go through all my other foundations this one was a favorite. I did really enjoy it and then this one just went old. This is the pure 4-in-1 tinted moisturizer. I also liked this one in the shade LG3 SPF 20. Really nice product. Also just kind of wanted to declutter a few products from my collection and this was one of them that I felt like I've had for a long time. It was a BoxyCharm product, but I really liked it. It had good coverage. The SPF is nice, so I enjoyed both of those products too. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.